Also breaking in the last five hours here, lawmakers in the House pass a bill that directly impacts your health care in our state. Yeah, the highly debated bill reshapes who is allowed health care in Minnesota and what's all covered. So CC got a hold of that bill overnight and has given us a breakdown. Hey, CC. Hey, here it is right here. Just hours ago, this bill passed the House 69 to 58. This bill's goal, you know, to invest and improve health care. So here's what we found out about this bill overnight. This bill looks to lower health care costs and improve coverage for Minnesotans and undocumented residents. It protects reproductive care too, including increased funding for reproductive health and also the repeal of anti-abortion language. Mental health, also a big priority in this bill. Investments were made for mental health grants and a 988 suicide and crisis lifeline. We also found that there are several investments to support health care workers, like workplace safety and safe staffing levels for nurses. Now, even though this bill did pass in the House, not everyone was on the same page. This proposal adds mandates to hospitals, challenging their ability to keep their wings and their stations open and depriving access to health care. But our objectives, as Representative Backer just stated, are about access, they're about affordability, they're about quality care for Minnesotans from every corner of this state, and that must remain our focus.